everybody. So today I wanted to show you this nest that I found quite a long time ago. Uh, it's almost in the shape of a heart. And as you can see, it's made of lots of twigs, leaves. Um, it's such a sturdy nest. I think I've had this nest for about four years already. And it's really kept its shape well. Um, there used to be, it was a little, um, oh, there's some dried berries and you can see inside and it's quite clever because if I put my hand inside or my fingers, I can go all the way in and I can feel it, how it curves. It's thicker on this side where my thumb is pointing. It actually curves inwards. So I can feel here. It's really, really cool. And this is a weaver bird's nest, which I'm sure lots of you have seen before. This is a very small one, but you get huge weaver bird nests. Look, there's even a leaf, I mean, not a leaf, a feather, part of a feather. And um, yeah, so I wanted to show you that that I found very clever. And you know that if the weaver bird, if the mom is not happy with the nest, she will tear it down and make her husband make a new one. The daddy bird will have to rebuild from scratch until she is satisfied that it's perfect and safe for her babies. Isn't she a clever mommy bird? Okay, so what we're going to do is today we are going to make a bird coming out of its shell in a nest. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you're going to get a template. And it looks like that. And you're going to cut out the bird shape. Just cut it out along the lines. Don't cut the head off. Color it in cut out this shell which I did over here and then I used this shell because it's paper and I used a piece of cardboard to make another one just so that it was a bit stiffer so there's my other one and then this is what we're going to do so we are first going to get a I used a cereal box I cut a semicircle shape and we painted it brown and then we made a little slit with a pair of scissors, so please get mom or dad to do that for you. A little slit over there, and then Grace colored in the bird. And we put googly eyes on, and we added a beak, and we put the top of the shell. Let's remember this little one. Okay, we put it, also did it on cardboard, a template, and we stuck it on top of his head. Right, so now Grace is going to stick it onto a stick. that's been stuck on. Grace is going to put some cold glue I think might work better. Okay. There we go. And she's going to put it on the sides of the nest. That's it. All the way along. And then we're going to add, okay spread that because that's a lot Lot of glue, don't need yeah. so much. There we go. Okay. Can spread. Just hold that for me. There we go. Can you get on that side? All right. And now we're going to get brown paper that we cut up. You don't have to use that if you've got a shredder at home. You can use that if you've got sawdust at home, like if you have a hamster or a pet that guinea pigs that have used sawdust, you can stick a little bit. Doesn't mustn't be stuck perfectly because it's part of the nest. Um, also, you can do paper tearing. Don't put it on the slit. There you yeah. go. That's fine. Keep going. And remember the cold glue dries clear generally so don't worry if it's too much cold glue on okay there we go and then we're going to take the main part of the shell and Grace is going to put some print on the sides only all the way around the side that's 
that's it and then she's going to stick it let's just take this one off okay there we go let's just move it up i think there we go perfect all right now i'm gonna put it through here put the stick through there through the shell and then through the slit i don't know how to okay, where's the slit okay the slit is there but this is stuck down remember oops so put it in wait wait yeah you can do it don't rush There we go. There we go. Well done. Okay, then just press that down. Okay, remember this must dry as well. Then it will be easier. Okay, you hold the nest. And we just got to move this up. Excellent. Enjoy playing with your little chicks, everybody.